is a cornerstone of Japanese culture, and the town of Kakigawa, southwest of Mount Fuji, serves as one of the country's premier producers of this tasty commodity. Easily reachable as a side trip from Tokyo, this quaint town also boasts a noteworthy castle and top-rated bird park, making this a destination I was eager to visit for myself. I'm Sam Evans, staff writer for japanguide.com, and over the next two days I'll be checking out what Kakigawa has to offer. Here's the plan. On day one, we'll take the Shinkansen from Tokyo to Kakegawa, hopefully with a view of Mount Fuji along the way. Once we arrive, we'll visit the castle grounds and then spend the evening exploring Honjin Dori, an atmospheric restaurant street in the center of town that is a favorite of locals. On day two, we'll start at the famous bird park, take a detour to see some stunning views of Kakegawa's tea fields, and move on to kiwi fruits country, where we'll have a barbecue lunch, make our own tea, and pick kiwi fruit. So follow along as we explore Japan's tea town, Kakegawa. Day one. arrived at Kakigawa Castle and I'm dressed suitably in uh, genuine armor that even though made recently was uh, manufactured with the exact same techniques and materials as it would have been in centuries past. <laughs> We've arrived inside Kakigawa Castle. Now, most Japanese castles that stand today are reconstructions made using concrete, but Kakigawa Castle is special because it was the first to be reconstructed using wood in the traditional way. Now we're in the Castle Palace. Now this Castle Palace is noteworthy, being one of only four in the country that has survived since the feudal era. Day two. So we're here at the Kakigawa Bird Park, uh, considered by many to be the best in Japan. And here, as you can see, there are a lot of residents that uh, like a bit of company, and I suspect more than that, a bit of food. Uh, so it's great to get down here and have a, a bit of a novel experience.
kiwi fruits come to Japan has uh, 80 variety, 80 variety of kiwi fruits. Let's go pick some. So we can't eat the one that I just picked because they typically need about two weeks to mature, but we can eat one of these. Mm. And with that, our time in Kakegawa has come to an end. For more information about Kakegawa, or to watch another video, click the links on the screen now or head over to japanguide.com, your comprehensive, up-to-date travel guide first-hand from Japan. Thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe for more videos about Japan. Happy travels!